Welcome back to a new tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can make a super easy and still pretty mysterious foggy background with Copic. The colors I will use are just an example. Of course you can use any other colors you like. Start with B000 pale blue and fill the lower half of the background. Continue with BV01 Viola and start from above to below and blend it over the bottom half. Then use B000 again and blend both colors. Now you have a color gradient, but it looks a bit weak, so now you add a bit depth with BV04 Blueberry so the gradation above looks more intense. You can blend the colors again with BV01, so the background looks gently shaded from above to the bottom. If you like the way it turned out, then let it dry. It's important for the next step that the colors are dry, because now we want to paint another element without blending it into the background. So the edges will look more clear. For the fog I am using RV00 Water Lily, which is only available as a Copic sketch marker. You can leave it now as it is if you like the way it turned out, or you can add more depth if you're using RV04 Shock Pink in the darker area above, towards the center of the picture, like it's shown. You can blend this area now with RV00, so it looks more like it's fading into the brighter part of the picture. Now you can add more shading and highlights, for example like little stars or whatever you like. This background can be a foggy scene or a cold sunset sky. If you use this background for a drawing where the person stands in front, he is an extra tip. Try to blend the fog over the character as well, to create the illusion like the person really stands in the fog and don't be afraid to try out different things like changing the colors, adding more different details and so on. Just keep in mind everything is about practice. This was the lazy background I like to do 
and there will be more in the future like this. So it's a little series of Rambo's lazy backgrounds. If there's something else you want me to make a tutorial of, or if you have more ideas for future lazy backgrounds, then let me know it in the comments down below. So I will know what you want me to see me doing next. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot. And if you want to get featured in my end card, or if you want me to show your results of doing this tutorial, use the hashtag HelloRumble on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching and stay creative. Bye bye!